Hey reader friends, if you've chosen this book, the title is Listening With My Heart. It was written by Gabby Garcia, and the illustrator's name is a tricky one for me. It's a name I haven't seen before. I hope I pronounce it correctly. Ying Hu Tan. There's a little bit of text at the bottom of the book that says, A Story of Kindness and Self-Compassion. We know about having compassion for others. We're kind to others. We worry about them when something's wrong. We try to be helpful. But self-compassion means that we're directing all of that kindness and love to ourselves. Sometimes that's a little bit trickier. This book was copyrighted in 2017 and Take Heart Press is the name of the publisher. Esperanza's tummy fluttered as she practiced her lines on the porch. Today was the class play. Waiting for Mama to walk her to school, she paced back and forth when she spotted a heart-shaped rock. Esperanza picked it up and showed it to Mama as soon as she stepped outside. Aw, I see you found a little treasure, said Mama. Esperanza rubbed its rough surface and felt a twinkle of joy. Maybe it's a sign. For what? asked Mama. She thought about the class play later that afternoon, wondering what it would finally be like in the spotlight. A sign to put my heart into everything I do, she answered. At that moment, they heard scratching and a soft cry. Esperanza, Esperanza peeked under the stairs and spotted a kitty shaking and shivering. No mama in sight. She scooped the kitten onto her lap and cuddled her. Oh, she's all alone. I think she's hungry. Esperanza reached for her lunch bag, pinched off a small piece of chicken, and offered it to the kitty, who gobbled it up. Mama, I think the rock is a reminder to spread kindness and love. That's what we do when we listen with our hearts. I think you're on to something, said Mama. Can we keep Cleocatra, please? asked Esperanza who had already named the kitty. Hmm, queens are always welcome at our house, said Mama. If she's still here after school, we'll take her in. Mama said queens because Esperanza named the kitten Cleocatra, and Cleopatra is the name of an Egyptian king that lived, queen that lived long, long ago. So I'm just giving you the scoop on that. At school, Esperanza was more focused on the play than on math or reading. Clutching her script during recess, she noticed Bayo sitting alone on a bench. He was new in school this week and didn't speak much English. She wondered if he felt lonely or scared. Esperanza found a soccer ball and kicked it over to him. A smile spread across Bayo's face. He stood, popped the ball in the air, and then bounced it between his knee and his head a few times. Whoa, dude's got moves, thought Esperanza. They spent recess giggling and making up hand signals. Afterwards, Esperanza borrowed Miss Owen's English-Vietnamese dictionary. She wrote down friend in Vietnamese and drew a picture of Bayo and her and then put it on his desk. Esperanza rubbed the rock in her pocket. Listening with her heart made her feel peaceful inside. Finally, it was time for the performance. It was too late for Bayo to be in the play, but he stood at Miss Owen's side as a stagehand. Excitement bubbled as Esperanza awaited her cue. Esperanza walked on stage 
and tripped. As she was about to say her first line, she splattered across the stage. When she got up, she forgot her lines. So Miss Owen whispered them to her from backstage. Heat rushed through Esperanza's body as all eyes were glued to her. Oh, she just wished she could disappear. I ruined the play, thought Esperanza, rushing off stage as soon as she finished her part. I'm such a dummy for forgetting my lines. I messed up in front of everyone. She tucked herself in behind some props so no one would see her. Esperanza noticed her body shaking and her face still burning. She took a deep breath and dug the rock out of her pocket. It was cracked and lopsided, just how she felt. Esperanza touched her hand to her heart and felt the disappointment. Bell found Esperanza a few minutes later and handed her a drawing with the word friend written in English above it. Esperanza nodded. She hadn't been treating herself like a friend. Esperanza realized this wasn't the first time she'd been unkind to herself. At the soccer game last weekend, she'd missed the ball that swooshed by her head, and they lost the game. Nice work, a player from the other team yelled as the others laughed. Esperanza thought she'd let her team down and thought she was the worst soccer player in the world. Thinking those thoughts had made her feel worse. At the curtain call, Esperanza reminded herself that she hadn't ruined the play. She just had an accident, and accidents happen to everyone. Listening with her heart wasn't just about giving kindness and love to others. It was about giving it to herself, too. I can be a friend to myself, thought Esperanza. When Esperanza got home, she focused on her favorite things. She zipped down the hill on her bike and then spent the afternoon painting at the kitchen table. She also got the hug she needed from Mama and some cuddles from Cleocatra. Hmm. The end of the book says, listening with your heart. Some days just stink. Not everything will go the way you want. You'll get upset. And when this happens, you can pause, take a few deep breaths, and practice listening with your heart. You can name what you are feeling. Whatever you feel is okay. You can listen to your body and notice the sensations you are having. Pay attention to your self-talk. Are the words supportive and understanding? Or are you telling yourself things that are mean and rude? Are you being a friend to yourself? When we treat ourselves with the same kindness and understanding that we give to someone we care about, we are practicing self-compassion. So the other page says, being my own friend. This is what Esperanza learned to do. To be your own friend, wrap your arms around yourself and give yourself a gentle hug. Take a few deep breaths and close your eyes if you'd like. And say these words to yourself. When I feel sadness, may I treat myself like the friend I need. May I show love and kindness to myself. When I feel anger, may I treat myself like the friend I need. May I show love and kindness to myself. And then the last part says, think of feelings you experience that are difficult for you and fill in the blank. When I feel blank, may I treat myself like the friend I need. 
may I show love and kindness to myself. Those are good things to think about. Sometimes we're too hard on ourselves. We need to give ourselves a little grace. All right. End of the story. Thank you for joining in.